Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video we're going to learn how to attach a vertical uh, button band to a cardigan edge and I have here just a little sample. This is for my licorice cardigan uh, so if you purchase that pattern and you struggle with the explanation because it's a little bit hard to put in words uh, something this um, visual, then I decided to make this video for everyone to see how to attach the bottom band. So let's pretend this is our bottom ribbing. So I'm going to attach a bottom band going up this way uh, on the side of the cardigan. So um, I am uh, binding off the bottom of my cardigan here. So I'm going to, I bind off in pattern, so pearl bind off, knit, bind off, purl, bind off, knit, bind off, and pull the last one, and bind it off. And normally on any garment or anything that you knit, at the end of your bind off, you just cut your yarn and then you pull it out and then weave in the end. But we don't do that in this situation, but we're going to attach um, a, a, a button band. And the way we're going to do it, you're going to keep that stitch on your needle and you're going to flip your work like this. And we're going to do the knitted cast on for a few stitches, which means I'm going to go in my stitch and knit it and then leave that stitch on my left needle twist this needle and put that stitch on my left needle. Sorry, I'm going to show you that a few more times. It kind of went out of um, focus. So I'm going to go in through the front, grab my yarn, pull it out, twist it and place it on my left needle. So I've got three stitches now. I want to do a few more. So knit, twist and put it on the left needle. Again, knit, twist and put it on the left needle. Knit and place it on the left needle. Knit, place it on the left needle. Knit, place it on the left needle. Just want to make sure that I've got the right so uh, yeah, so uh, the video, th the pattern will explain how many stitches you need to cast on for your bottom band. I'm just giving you a demonstration, so ignore the number of stitches that I have here. Just go ahead and follow the number of stitches that it says in the pattern. So this is what our work is going to look like at the moment. And then what you want to do is we're going to flip it this way. And now we're going to attach a bottom band going up our work like this. So um, I'm going to knit my first stitch and then I'm going to do a ribbing. So knit one, bring the yarn forward to purl one, take the yarn back to knit one, bring the yarn forward, forward to purl one, yarn back to knit yarn forward to purl and then you stop there and uh, I have here one stitch which I'm going to slip as if to knit like this then I'm going to do a yarn over on it and then what I want to do is look at uh, my work here and you will see and I've got this needle here you will see a series of um, ladders um, after your first stitch. So yeah, I have here one, then I have another one, then I have another one, then I have another one. That marks your row. So you want to go in between, in between those ladders. So you can see there's one here, one here, one here, one here. So you want to go in between that one and then we're going to skip one and go in between the next one and I'll show you why we do that. 
so I slipped one yarn over I'm gonna go in between the first stitch there and I'm gonna bring the yarn out and then I'm going to bind off the slip stitch with the yarn over over the the one that I just picked so put your left needle through those two loops and then bring it over the one that we just um, um, picked from the edge of our cardigan then you want to turn your work and with the yarn in the front you want to slip the first stitch then you continue knitting knitting the knits and purling the pearls so I'm going to do a knit a purl a knit a purl a knit and I've got two pearls at the end because I want to slip the first stitch for a nice edge so as you can see um, our work is already starting to show let's continue so I'm going to slip the first stitch then knit one purl one knit one purl one knit one purl one and when you have one stitch left you want to slip it as if to knit and then do a yarn over and we're not going to go in the next um, in the next round we're going to skip one because um, we do a pearl we, we do a wrong side row every row so we don't uh, we kind of have to skip one so I'm not going to go in the next one after this is the one I went in first then I'm not going to go in this one I'm going to go in this one and grab my yarn bring it through and then with my left needle I'm going to pick up the slip stitch plus the yarn over and bring it over the stitch I just worked then I'm going to turn my work and the same thing with yarn in the front I'm going to slip one and then I'm going to knit the knits and purl the pearls and we're going to do the same thing all over again so this is going to give a nice um, edge here where the um, button band and our ribbing and the side of our cardigan is going to uh, join slip one knit one purl one knit one purl one knit one purl one then I'm going to slip one yarn over and again this is the one that I went into before I'm going to skip the next one and go to the next bring my yarn through and then with my left needle I'm going to pick up the, the slip stitch with the yarn over and bring it over the new stitch and on the wrong side we're just going to slip one with yarn in the front knit one purl one knit one purl one knit one purl one and purl the last stitch and um, this is what it looks like so far it will give this kind of like a cable effect to the joint now one more thing I want to show you is how to make a buttonhole for my cardigan I made buttonholes but I didn't put buttons on it because I thought that it looks better without buttons but it's up to you so this is how you would do a buttonhole if you were to put buttons on your button band slip the first stitch knit one purl one knit one then I'm going to do a yarn over and I'm going to knit two together so that created a hole there in my work then I'm going to purl the next stitch and I'm ready to join uh, this this uh, row so slip the last stitch do a yarn over and again I, this is the place I went into first uh, previously I'm going to skip this one and go into the next row here grab my yarn and pull it through and then I'm going to pick the slip stitch with the yarn over and bring it over the new stitch and there's the join 
and for the wrong side slip the first stitch with yarn in the front knit one purl one and this is our yarn over so that means I need to knit one purl one knit one and purl the last two stitches and this is what our work looks like as you can see this is our um, this is our new attached button band it has a buttonhole here and this is our ribbing for our uh, for our sweater and this is the joint that because we've done that yarn over and we slip it over the new stitch that we do it creates this beautiful kind of like a chain um, effect so yeah that is how to attach a vertical button band to your sweater thank you very much for watching and i really hope that you enjoyed the licorice cardigan if you decide to knit it please don't forget to uh, tag me tail makes on instagram and facebook and upload your pictures on ravelry have a nice day and i'll see you in my next one bye